I'm Jeff Hammond with BoatTest.com, and we're here with Boyd Tomkes, who is the president of Brig USA. Brig is the largest manufacturer of ribs in the world. Brig builds about 4,000 units a year. Boyd is responsible for all U.S. sales, which amounts to the biggest percent of the, the Brig inflatables sold. Their factory is located near Kharkov in Ukraine. That has been under siege by the Russian military. We are really concerned about the folks at Brig. Boyd, what can you tell us about what's happening there at the factory and the people that work there? Sure, so a lot of the information we get is the same information that you're receiving from the news outlets. You know, we're in constant communication with the factory, um, the uh, owner Slava and some of the other staff. And, and between myself and the distributors, we uh, get updates every few days. The first and most important thing is, you know, the humanitarian side of this and making sure that the, the people of Ukraine and the factory workers are safe, you know. And then secondly, that this factory will be there and the ability for them to come back online. The latest information we've got is that the factory's fine. It's, uh, it's located in the rural area of Kharkov. There has been some shelling um, very close by on a railway line and unfortunately a uh, stray shell hit a couple stored boats outside but the, the factory's intact. The military's not identifying it as a target or anything so you know we're hoping that you know this ends shortly and they'll be able to resume production and the, and the, and the, the, the employees and the people of Ukraine can you know get back into some sort of rebuilding stage and, and then, you know, be able to help uh, supply boats again. Boyd, uh, tell me, how many people work there? In the last five years, I've grown a lot. Um, when we started distributing the boats, it was about 200. Now it's about 420 employees. So far, we've heard that they're all safe. There's been a lot of the um, uh, employees and, and family that have um, fled to other parts of Europe and mainly through Poland. The distributors in Europe, the Brig, part of our big extended Brig family, have um, taken on these Brig families and re as a refugee and, and opened their houses to look after them. Well, that's terrific. Now, what, uh, what countries are those distributors in? France, Germany, some of the Nordic countries, um, and as far away as England. They're all uh, contributing. Uh, to support the, the, the families and the employees. Are there any raw materials in that factory? Brig is, because it's such a large uh, manufacturer of rigid boats, rigid inflatable boats, and the remote location, they always have a lot of stock holding of raw materials. So, um, you know, they've probably got six to nine months of raw materials there. So one of the challenges is when they do reopen is to, uh, continue the supply and not have an interruption in raw materials but at the moment they're sitting pretty pretty well. Is the factory just sitting there alone or any of the Briggs employees keeping an eye on it? About half a dozen of the employees have chose to um, to live at the factory and take up arms. It was in a rural area it's got a big perimeter fence around it and these uh, employees periodically give us video updates to show that the, the factory's intact, everything's fine, and I think we've got six employees. Do you know how many refugees there are who have left uh, Ukraine? Yeah. Brig ref refugees. So I think it, to date, uh, I think it's uh, about 15 to 20 families, and so mainly it's, it's wives and the kids. There are other uh, rib makers in in uh, Ukraine. Uh, can you tell me how they're faring? There's the two other big rib players, a, a Grand and uh, Gala, which is Glex, which is a, um, both of them are in the, in the same uh, vicinity of Brig. Uh, Grand is, is fine at the moment. They are currently closed as well. Gala is further out. It's, a, it's 150 kilometers away. Um, and they've actually gone back uh, to work and about a week ago and they're producing boats and they've exported their first few containers and they're pushing them through uh, Poland now rather than the port of Odessa. So they have to go through Poland and up 
up uh, to the uh, Netherlands to get out, I take yeah. it. Yeah. The refugee situation is, uh, is, is, is really tragic. Is uh, Brig USA doing anything to help these people? Absolutely. So, you know, Brig is a, worldwide is a big family. Brig Europe has, has uh, started a foundation and we've started a, a GoFundMe. We're taking these donations to support the families that have left Ukraine and to help support the distributors that have opened their doors and looking after these children and the family um, and, and take so they don't end up in a uh, refugee, you know, um, camp, camp yeah. in, in Poland. They, we started that about a week ago and um, in Europe and the GoFundMe's just started now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put up at the end of this video how to send it. And I'm going to start off the donations uh, from boat tests uh, with a thousand dollars. So I hope all of the viewers of this video uh, pitch in and, and help these uh, brave people because my heart goes out to them, particularly the children. That is what really uh, gets my heartstrings. And so anything you can give will help the morale uh, of the, the employees. And we hope to see them back in production and back at home soon. Thank you very much. This is Jeff Hammond reporting.